and welcome to the Game Bytes Show video podcast. This is Indie Bytes episode 3. Today we'll be playing. Playing Sunless Sea. Excellent. Um, I'm your host, Jared Red Eyed Dunn, as always. Uh, and I'll be, we'll be going at solo in the dark, dark, lonely seas of fallen London. Um. So, Sunless Sea uh, is a Kickstarter game. came out last year, I believe, 2014. Um, and basically, you are a uh, boat captain. Um, and you have a crew, and you have a ship, of course. And uh, the premise is, London was, I don't know, is some like dark apocalypse, and you're now underground. All of London is underground, and there's a very dark sea, um, and you have to battle sea monsters and hunger and uh geez what else do you put up with um terror so you you guys can actually uh, become so terrified that they mutiny um there's bad guys there's sea crabs or whatever blah blah blah, blah. so it's an open adventure the map uh, randomizes a bit so it's kind of something that you can keep playing again and again kind of like a roguelike but not really um the real place that Sunless Sea shines is in its writing. So this is actually from Fail Better Games, who also made um, the browser-based game, which is now out on iOS, uh, called Fall in London. Um, it's one of those text browser games. You just click and answer questions and do dice roll, basically. Um, and uh, it, it's really fantastic, really worth playing. Uh, it's free um, definitely worth checking out uh, and basically Sunless Sea is kind of a companion to that if you will um, and, and it's this kind of 2D top down uh, you can see and actually uh, right now I'm going through and picking my past so unfortunately I lost all my saves in a relatively recent um, hard drive crash I'm not sure how that happened but it doesn't matter uh, here we are we're going to pick some of the options so you can be like a street urchin and, and each of these gives you kind of different uh, skills that you play the game a little bit differently so street urchin gives you bonus to veils is subtlety and evasion so um, which comes up a lot in text options uh, bonus to pages is the poet uh, trickery and knowledge um, veteran of the campaign of 68 so you fought in the invasion of hell and his army's lost you survived your loot and your pension have bought you a command so this is what I'm gonna do um, I, I like iron. I'm a pretty direct player. It's kind of the the way I play games. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, go. All right. And so I get a guy. I get a shady cook. Uh, he gives me hearts plus one, which I believe ups my hit. I don't know what hearts does. Um, stern and exacting. They will not trifle with you. You promise a job to your acquaintance, the shady cook. He'll do until you find someone less disgusting. So, there you go. Um, excellent. Oh, um, and one of the other kind of neat things about this game, you can actually choose your um, win condition. So you can see one's actually locked to me. Uh, I need impossible one. It's just not even open, not available. Future update. Um, Gather a hundred tales, learn all you can of the Z, write a masterpiece, and retire. Wealth, you know what it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion, servants, find clothes, a family perhaps. So this is gain money, or your father's bones. Your father was lost at sea. So you, you actually have to find this, right, and bring it back to London. That's the win condition. So we'll go with that. Um, yeah, so then we want to find his bones and retire. Great. <clears throat> what do people want to call us? I don't think this actually... Um, changes anything, we're going to go with Captain, Cop Captain, Captain, Red Eye Luke Picard. Okay, uh, we get to choose what our guy looks like right now. He's just this bald fellow, which actually is kind of fitting, uh, if not entirely boring. I like this dude, bald, distinguished gentleman. You can see this wonderful schnoz on him. And the pipe, what a, what a, this guy's a player. You know, this is not a guy you want to run across on the open sea. Uh, so we'll go with... Red Eye, how original. So we gotta find our father's bones. Um, and you know, 
We talked about this in the Fallout episode. This jaw typically wouldn't stay stick around with a skull, but that's fine. We'll try to find the jaw too. Okay, so it wants to, us to speak with the Dark Spectral the Admiral at the Admiralty. So one of the highlights of this game is the is the uh, kind of the lore behind it. It's very um, Lovecraftian, I want to say, um, but also very kind of mysterious. Kind of like uh, you get in the Dark Soul games, where you know a, a lot of the detail lore is to be seen and kind of um, theorized in your head, not necessarily told out to you in like audio tapes. Um, of course, everything's text-based. There's no voiceovers, so it's all presented in this kind of read format. Um, the Admiral, you meet your friend, the head waiter, and learn that the Admiral has not returned since. Perhaps he regrets his outspokenness. You'll have to find him in his lair at the Admiralty. Win three levels of Admiralty's favor and visit the Admiral Survey Office. So we need to get some favor. Um, I think this is just tutorials. Yeah, you can go through here. Lots of good uh, information. If you're not sure what you're doing, so I don't have those. So we need to keep going. Uh, London. We can go to London. Visit the Albert. So we can go here and get what is essentially the only sort of quests. I mean, the quests are not exactly uh, um, forthcoming in this game. It's most mostly there for you to wander. Uh, so let's just keep going. Do I have an appointment? Uh, no. Once you've proven yourself, perhaps. All right. So, so they want port report. Port report you get by going to the ports and kind of surveying it. Um, we can flip through the journal here. So here's our ship. We have a the the Gia class steamer. This is basically as as nub as it gets. Um, we have supplies, five supplies, and ten fuel. So you consume consume fuel as you sail around, and your crew eats supplies. Uh, if you run out of supplies, your crew will start uh, cannibalizing people, which is obviously not good. If you run out of fuel, you lose. So I have a puzzle box. Uh, speak the right phrase, and the tumblers will align and unlock. But what is the right phrase? The alarming scholar may have some ideas. Advice for captains, uh, Invictus token. And I'm forgiven, so I think you can like make it easier. I, you know, I don't know. Echoes are the the money, so you can see I have seventy. Um, oh, I don't want that. Go away. Okay, tutorials. So you can see I have like no accomplishments, and here's some memoirs and objectives. And my father's bones. I'm almost safe. Crew. Um, eventually, you can get more officers and toss them in there. Uh, shops is, I mean, exactly what you think. Uh, and shipyard is the same. So you know, as we become rich, or you know, we can start getting some of these bigger ships. And some are better for trade. Some are better for combat. Um, some are virtually worthless. Uh, so there's that. Excellent. So we're gonna go get right to it. And. And we're going to steam out here. So you actually have this light, and this light is important. Um, you can actually toggle it on and off, and it will adjust uh, basically how much your uh, terror increases. Um, so we're pretty close to land. I'm going to keep it off, because it also consumes fuel. So this game is a series of trade-offs, basically. Um, and basically you just have to uh, do the best you can. So there's something over here, let's kick the light on, we're getting kind of far away. Uh, and you can hear the ticking, we're actually getting pages score, so basically leveling up. Um, here's Hunter's Keep, is a place we can go, let's go get its port report quickly. So these little light circles are where you can dock, you can see I get the dock option. Um, so a hump of dark rock, Swathed, swathed in mist, like a hundred other Hunter Z islands. Um, but there's a grand house, windows aglow, lawns impossibly green and lush in the false starlight, raked gravel paths. You stand on the dock as the sea nudges the ship's sides, an unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. Um, so present yourself to the house, they will have heard your ship come in, why hide, uh, Requintoire the island, plunging cliffs, great, anything else? So this gives you um, a port report, so let's go ahead and get that. 
Excellent. Got it. Um, so I can go for a walk in the garden. I don't. Or I can do a spy with a with veils. Um, and it gives me a 75% chance. So I'm going to go for it. Let's see what we get. So I succeeded. So uh, you peer through the half open French window into a grand parlor, grand size. Um, basically, these two, I'm sorry, three women talking. Very strange. But we also get some fragments, which is great. Okay, so now we're going to go present ourselves. Um, I'm kind of going quick because uh, I kind of want to get into some more of the game in my little 30 minutes I have. Um, but. Do yourself a favor and read this. This this stuff is good. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you... I mean, smoldering topaz eyes, guys. Shows you into the parlor where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles. The eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? Um, sure... So I basically need to pick one to sit next to, I suppose, is what this is. Um, uh, let's go with Phoebe. She's soft-voiced, watchful, and, un and unpredictable. She's got a lot to tell us. She has a story to tell of two lovers parted by water, of a raven that carried messages, of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if song only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your tension drifts out through the skylight of the dining room to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore, blah, 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 blah. So definitely worth reading. So I gained a supply. That's actually pretty valuable. Um, I lost some hunger, so basically they wiped that out. Uh, no fragments. The gods of disease storm's attention. Quality is now. I don't. That seems like a error. Uh, I now have a memory of distant shores, and I'm now acquainted with the sister. Okay, so that's it for there. Let's press on. Continue to explore. So we have a map, um, and again, it gets kind of randomized. Hunter's Keep is basically always here. Um, there's another town just up north that's basically always where it's at. Um, but then the islands move, like you may not always be able to find them in just the right spot. You kind of have to explore. So you can see we're out in the darkness now. Uh, our terror is starting to kind of creep up. There's some lights over here. Let's go check them out. Um, I don't know if you saw them. It was real hard to see. There were some bats kind of floating over there, and those are actually some enemies. Uh, and we'll kind of show off the combat um, here shortly. The combat isn't the best part of this game, I have to say. I do like it. That they, they definitely improved it from its original state back... Uh, when this game first kind of came out, um, at least in, in pre-release form, early access, whatever you call it now. Uh, oh, there we go, kind of leveled up there, good, good. Um, so here we are discovering some stuff at Carissa's Point, Hornman Stag, uh, Glassy Chop of Dark Water, the Iron Clatter of Feet of the Hatchway. Alright, so let's go see what this is. We're going to dock over here in just a moment, but I want to make sure I get Tana Chinook, or Tana Chuk, uh, you know, whatever, 50 fragments, well worth it. Let's close this for now. Um, the other thing, oh yeah, see the bats triggered combat for me, but uh, we're going to call it all clear, and we're going to go to uh, Vendorbite. So Vendorbite is a, um, um, a colony of the, uh, oh, what do they call these guys again? Uh, tomb colonists. So these guys are like undead, maybe. I'm, I'm not really sure. It's real. It's real mysterious, right? So they're kind of like mummies. Um, they're wrapped in bandages. Um, visit the first curator. Explore. I'm gonna explore here. They favor the candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged with cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. Okay, so this is a high risk challenge. Thirty percent chance of success. Um, I'm not going to do this. I probably will fail this and something terrible will happen. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a picnic, which is kind of ridiculous, but it does take a whole supply, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but I did lose two terror, so that's all great. So continue. Um, let's get some gossip. Uh, let's, I believe this gives us a port report. Yep. 
There you go. Um, and let's go talk to the first curator and see what he has to say. All right, good deal. All right, so this guy wants colors. So he wants all these things. Um, he wants a page from Neathbo, Polygon, Irigo, Viric, Voilent, Epoxy, and blah, 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 blah. So these things we gotta find. Kind of another little quest. Uh, so we can go, again, all the text, all worth reading, all very good. Ooh, combat. So you can see, here we are, we're entering combat against bats of all things. We're recharging. Ooh. Reverse. Oh, I missed. That's real bummer. These guys do a lot of damage. These guys do a lot more damage than you'd expect. Got them. Um, so you can see I have just kind of like a basic uh, firing art. Uh, my tear is pretty good, so I'm going to take the supplies since I spent one on picnic. The all clear. Um, you know, I have basic firing arc for my guns. As you level up, or I'm sorry, upgrade your ships and whatnot. You know that that changes. Uh, there's torpedoes and cannons, I believe, are the two weapon types. But uh, pretty good stuff. So we're just gonna kind of meander north here, uh, full speed ahead. Sorry, th this game. If there's one downfall of this game, and they did it on purpose because they wanted the <laughs> the dark seas to feel lonely. Oh, okay. We don't want to do. Oh. I did not mean to do that. Sorry, I, I hit the full power to engines and it has a tendency to make you like explode. So I kind of wish I hadn't, but whatever. Um, travel times can become a real thing. Um, so like just going here is pretty quick because I mean, it's just kind of close, but uh, here we are entering Wither, another port. Uh, Wither is always up here as well, so that's how I knew it was here. Okay, so let's first of all get a port report. I guess our three, excellent. Um, very mo modest. Let's do this. Um, so we have one sh shore leave, quiet and sly. I succeed in the Veil's challenge, so I lost my terror. Uh, but I also lost uh, 50 echoes, which is real drag. I probably should have read that that was going to happen. All right. But there's quiet to the town of Greystone, closed courtyards. The people are n neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. Uh, okay. Huge and pale, and their eyes stare bleakly into yours, but they smell fresh. I'm definitely not doing either of these, uh, so let's do this. I have now one fragment. Um, boy, I sure wish uh, my fuel is really low. Okay, I, I mean the fuel is not really low. Uh, that's less than I'd prefer, but we're gonna go kind of east from here. Uh, just kind of explore for a little bit, and I've only got about ten minutes left, so I kind of wanted to show. Just, just a little bit more of this game. What you're seeing is essentially kind of what you can expect from this game. Um, it, it's really interesting to kind of just get into and just kind of explore. Don't go read in wikis. Just kind of, unless you really get stuck or can't figure out a mechanic maybe. But, you know, just explore the game. Read the text. It, it's one of those best... Um, best experienced kind of first hand uh, kind of blind I think okay so we'll get another port report of this place excellent and I cannot do this because I do not have a searing enigma whatever the heck that thing is um, it's also possible to do uh, kind of trading I have not done this um, but you know you could start to figure out if uh, something's cheaper in one place you could buy it there and sell it elsewhere um, if, so if you're into that kind of gameplay, I, I, I'm not gonna say it's probably real robust. I don't know if it's dynamic or anything like that. Um, but uh, it, it is possible to kind of buy those so high. Okay, so we're, I'm gonna send out some Z-Bats. So this is another little ability you have. You can see the little bats go flying around and they will return um, 
and they will give me some information. So Mount Palmerston is some distance to the east. So I'm traveling east, so we're going to go see if we can find Mount Palmerston. Um, I'll send them out again. There's really no reason, as far as I'm aware, that you wouldn't want to keep sending out. Uh, so southeast. So this is going to be Mount Palmerston down here. Um, I don't recall if I want to go here yet. We'll see if we can go check it out. I, I don't, I'm not sure this is one of the things we can actually do just yet. We're actually getting kind of low on fuel. So I'm going to visit Palmerston and then we're going to head basically directly back because uh, this fuel situation has got me a little worried. Um, you do have to make it back to London. Uh, so again, the light does consume fuel, um, so it would go to the crater. Let's see if we can get our port report. Excellent. Let's explore the island. Uh, okay. I do not have a crate of human souls. Perhaps the village left valuables behind. You could pick over there, remains, see what you might find. Uh, no. I'm not spending supply on that. That sounds like a disaster. All right, let's press on. Let's see if we can get back to London. Uh, we'll turn in the port reports we got. That will probably just about do it for time. Um, so again, this is a little bit of a slower game, but uh, definitely worth kind of... Uh, experiencing um, in my opinion it is definitely one of my favorite things to come out of Kickstarter uh, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of um, Fall in London I was actually a little bit disappointed when it was announced for iOS and didn't come out to Android of course I use Android phone um, and not an iPhone because uh, I would love to be able to jump into Fall in London that's just like the perfect kind of uh, kind of game for me you just kind of sit down uh, you know, you do you do a couple quests, which are very similar to the ones you saw there, where it's like you read and see, oh, okay, do I want to use my veil skill or consume this item and that kind of thing. Um, very much in that vein of, uh, I'm just gonna explore these little islands here and see if I can get some some more pages. I'm not sure what these are. Um, Okay, I'm getting real concerned about my fuel here, so we're going to head straight back. Uh, nothing within range, so we'll keep pressing. Uh, anyway, Fallen London. Yeah, I just you sit down and do a few kind of quests, and then you kind of move on. Um, but uh, this one takes a little bit more time commitment. As you can see, you know, kind of traversing. We're here now. We were up there a minute ago. We're kind of cutting across. Um, a little bit more of a... Of, uh, Time commitment. Oh man, this feels bothersome. So this is actually the amount of barrels I have not consumed. So this is one barrel, the blue bar, and then I'll load this. So this can go to zero. Um, obviously, you're going to want to be careful with that. Okay, I'm going to turn off my light. We're going to go with dark. Consume some fuel. Um, as you can see, it's actually really dark, so you can't really see in front of you, um, you know, if there's bad guys or whatever, so it's kind of risky going, uh, lights off, um, <laughs> dust echoes, even a sepia tent to the air, <laughs> I love that, like, just being near the tomb colonies, people perceive it to be, like, old and, and basically, in the past almost that's just that's just awesome all right so we're coming in coming in for a landing here the low, low barnet always in the same place again you can see this is uh you know underwater this is just ruins here it's kind of neat oh, probably didn't need to ram that all right so i've built up some terror i've got 10 terror um 
about to feed my crew again. Um, so I'll have two supplies and one fuel barrel as I kind of coast in on fumes. <laughs> it's okay, I'll, I'll get some fuel here in, um, in London. Uh, oh no, oh I used it, bummer, okay. Oh, okay, so something happened. So time passes in this game. So you can actually see, uh, like, these are dated. So the days change. Um, things can happen in the game uh, while you're away. Okay, it says the revenue men, her enduring majesty's custom service works closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Master of the Bazaar. Today they've selected you for inspection. Don't cheek them. All right, um... Let them do the worst. You have nothing to hide. This will also reduce your suspicion if your suspicion is five or more. Um, so these are all the contraband that they're looking for, which is funny that one of them is a romantic literature. Right? Like, so you can bribe them. Oh, you can talk your way out. Uh, you can use favors. Uh, or you can try to basically set them aside. I don't have anything to hide, so we'll go with this. They roam your deck like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At last, they leave. The suspicion has changed because it's lower than five. So, great. Okay, so we're going to collect our messages. Let's see, you have know, one another day for evening. Something has changed in the neath, and someone wants to sign on. So, um, an officer wants to join my crew, is what that means. Uh, so, fine evening to you, Captain. Um, so basically this is a shady character um, giving me a proposition right so here's one of your kind of like tough choices you can you can tell this guy to go pound sand uh, you can refuse and you can ask more questions or you can accept and so obviously this guy's shady I mean, nobody walks up to anyone with a knife offering free stuff right so we're gonna take it why not um, I got 10 fuel which has a lot of cash uh, five supplies, and I now have uh, some suspicion. Uh, forget what's here. Oh, read the morning paper. Oh, this is real important. Don't forget to read the paper. So the paper can sometimes give you like uh, recent news. Um, I don't know if you saw. We we passed some like lighthouses out in the uh, Interzee, um and you can take this recent news to them and basically get more pages and stuff, but uh, it's definitely worth doing. Uh, we can rest, um, and resting will reduce your uh, terror, uh, heals wounds, and gives you a restful night. No, restful nights are useful later on um, to help you with some things, but we're not gonna do that now. I'm gonna go to the Admiralty's office and turn in our stuff. So we'll turn in Hunter's Keep. So we now have one favor, uh, we lose a port report, I've gained five echoes, and a fuel. So you get a fuel every time you turn these in, which is kind of nice. Um, the Brimstone Convention, they trouble me, Captain. Uh, so I get a fuel, I get a favor, and I have two. Uh, I, and now I gain 40 echoes, so that's even better, right? So the further out you go, the better the rewards. But have the nearly dead been up to? So I get 10. Oh, I'm ushered into his office, so I can go see him now. Um, let's go ahead and turn this in. All right, more fuel, more echoes. You can see I'm getting some of my echoes back. And more, more, more poor reports. Okay, good deal. And I do get to be seen. So look at this guy. He's pretty pimp, right? So this guy's a boss. Not like a game boss, but like he's just cool looking, I think. Um... Let's do this, I guess. I mean, this is basically the end. You should definitely go in. Um, um, definitely play this game, guys. Fallen London is the browser-based game. A lot of fun. Uh, Sunless Sea is what we've been playing today. Again, lots of text, lots of reading, but it's just all really good. Uh, really mysterious just kind of a fun game the mechanics are sound they're not uh, nothing's really complex I want to say um, 
but but it's all worth uh, wor- worth the investment. I think uh, it's available on Steam. Uh, I believe GOG and the Humble Store. Uh, maybe I'll put some links up. Um, so uh, thank you again for joining us. Um, if you want to uh, view more, you can uh, head over to youtube.com slash show uh, for all of our archived uh, streams and video footage. Uh, you can also go to www.gamebyteshow.com and check out our audio podcast. We do two a week, um, one with news and uh, a bit of a topic to discuss and one with the games we've been playing for the week. Um, we do that one towards the end of the week and uh, we try to keep them to 30 minutes or less so that you can get in, get out, uh, and go enjoy your day with a little bit of gaming knowledge that you didn't have before. So uh, my name is Jared Red Eye Dunn. You can find me at Twitch at at red underscore eye and you can find the Game Bite Show at, un- at Game Bite Show. And thank you for joining me.